The 10 Phases of Service The key to understanding the details of exceptional service in the dining room starts with understanding the dining experience as a whole. In this lesson, we'll give you an overview of the flow of service, from setting up to closing up. Throughout the course, we will be referring to these different stages of service to help you understand where everything fits in. These 10 stages are Preparation, including meetings, preparing your equipment, and setting up the dining room. Greeting the guests. Welcome the guest and escort them to their table. Seating the guest. Seat the guest and present the menu and wine list. Drink service, including water, aperitifs, and wine orders. Bread service. Deliver bread to the table. Taking orders. Recommend dishes and take orders. Serving the meal. Tea, coffee and digestive service. Guest departure. This includes bringing the bill, bidding the guests farewell and escorting them to the car. And lastly, after service. This is the post-service meeting and clearing. So let's take a look at these in more detail by starting with preparation. One of the golden rules in service is the five P's. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. If everything is ready and in place before service starts, things will run much more smoothly once the guest arrives. Think of baking a cake. You don't just start mixing sugar and butter. First, you get all the ingredients ready. This way, you are sure that you have all the correct ingredients. If not, you might realize too late that you don't have eggs and your cake will be ruined. The same is true of service. Your table should be set with beautifully prepared tableware and every member of the team should know their duties and the roles that they play. By preparing everything you will need first, you ensure that there is no unnecessary stress once the guest arrives providing the guest with an excellent dining experience. Now let's look at greeting the guest. Once everything is set up, we're ready to receive the guest. This means that we have the guest information prepared and we greet the guest with a warm smile. Once we have taken the guest's coats, they are then escorted to the table. Now comes seating the guest. This stage includes giving the guest an orientation of your establishment if necessary, seating the guest, and delivering menus and the wine list. Next is drink service. Here, we provide the guests with drink service. This includes water service and recommending an aperitif, a pre-meal drink, to stimulate the appetite, such as champagne. Guests may also order wine. Now we have bread service. Here, we provide the guest with fresh bread and bread accompaniments to tie them over until they are ready to order. Bread service can also be delivered after the guest has placed their order. Followed by this, we have taking orders. Now that the guest is comfortable, has something to drink and a bite of bread to eat, they are ready to receive your recommendations. After giving them time to decide, you can take their orders. Now we have serving the meal. At this stage, you ensure that everything is ready at the table and then present the dishes to your guests. When all the guests at the table have finished their meal, you can clear the plates. Depending on the guest and your establishment, there may be multiple courses and you will do the same for each course. Now comes coffee, tea and digestive service. After the final course, many guests may enjoy a hot beverage, such as tea or coffee, and a digestive, an after-meal drink to help digestion and round off the meal. Examples of digestives include whiskey and cognac. Now comes the guest departure. You must always host the guests until the very end. At the end of service, when the guest has requested the bill, you will present it to the host. Once the bill is settled and the guest is ready to leave, 
you will greet them sincerely and escort them out of the dining area. Lastly, after service. Remember that service doesn't end when the guest leaves. The team still needs to get together to discuss the highs and the lows of that service. You also need to ensure that the dining area and staff areas are cleared and cleaned up and ready for the next service. Can you remember all 10 phases? Let's recap quickly. First comes preparation. Followed by greeting the guest. Then we have seating the guest. Next comes drink service. Then bread service. Taking orders. Now comes serving the meal. This is followed by tea, coffee and digestive service. Next comes guest departure. And lastly, after service. Well done if you remembered all 10. 